This video is supported by our wonderful patrons over at patreon.com slash nerdsync. What's going on you wonderful nerds? Scott here, just doing voiceover today as I got a new camera in and I, it's, I've, I'm struggling with it. But it's fine, we'll be back with my face probably next week. In the meantime, I wanted to talk about something that didn't happen in Logan. So I don't think these are considered spoilers, but because a lot of you guys are very sensitive to this sort of thing, then I guess spoilers for Logan, even though we're talking about something that didn't happen rather than something that did happen. Anyway, I'm sure we all know that Sabretooth didn't make an appearance in this movie. Despite having a long history with Wolverine in previous films that uh, I guess we have to talk about a little bit, sorry. Victor Creed did not make an appearance in this movie, cameo or otherwise, which has led many to speculate where is Sabretooth during Logan? Now I'm sure some of you may have heard by now that screenwriter Scott Frank said that Sabretooth almost did make an appearance in a sequence somewhere around the middle of the movie. Logan, X-23, and Professor X would go to a gambling town in Oklahoma City. There, Logan would seek out Sabretooth to get his help. But for some reason, they ended up deciding against this idea. So, since that never ended up being in the movie, allow me to present to you my theory on where Sabretooth was during Logan. Spoilers! He devolved into a feral beast and then he was killed! Alright, this is probably gonna take a lot of leaps, but just Bear with me for a bit. In the early 90s, Wolverine had his adamantium, adamantium, let me try that again. Wolverine had his adamantium ripped from his skeleton by Magneto. Not long after this event, he confronted his lifelong enemy Sabretooth and killed him. Now you might think, oh, that's a pretty standard thing for Wolverine to do, but the comics felt they needed to explain why a known killer would kill someone. So in the subsequent issues, it was revealed that Logan had a different mutation than what was previously thought. He doesn't just have a generic healing factor, he also has a mutation that devolves him into a feral beast. When he was brought onto the Weapon X program and had adamantium fused to his skeleton, that bonding process basically cancelled out Wolverine's natural mutation to regress him to a more primal state. Because his body was so busy dealing with that poison laced on his bones, it just kind of cancelled out. But now that that adamantium's gone, that mutation can take full effect. And it was only made worse in X-Men number 100, which is a story that's a little too complicated for me to get into the specifics, but basically Wolverine was having adamantium grafted to his skeleton yet again, but his body rejected it, and it caused him to de-evolve at an accelerated rate. Wolverine then became a full-blown feral creature that looks strikingly similar to Sabretooth in the first X-Men movie. Psst. This is gonna be important a couple minutes from now, so pay attention. Sabretooth in the movie universe is very closely related to Logan, more so than their comic book counterparts. They are half-brothers with very similar mutations, so if we want to speculate and say that Wolverine in this movie universe has this regressive mutation, then we could also confidently say that it's very likely Sabretooth would also have it. However, for Wolverine, this wouldn't be a problem. He was infused with adamantium, and it was never taken out. But for Sabretooth, he never went through that transformation, so that regressive mutation would affect him slowly, transforming him into a feral beast. Which is why he went from looking like this in X-Men Origins to this in the first X-Men movie. But alright, I can already hear you typing loudly in the comments that this really doesn't answer much. There's no link to what happened between the first X-Men movie and Logan. Where did Sabretooth go? Well. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the answer. Uh, kind of. I don't know if it's still considered canon, or if it was ever considered canon. It's uh, The X-Men franchise is really complicated. Basically, there was a comic book tie-in to X-Men 2, X2, X-Men 2 Knighted. It was supposed to explain what happened between the two movies and specifically explain where Sabretooth was. So after the events of the first X-Men movie, when Sabretooth was blasted off of the Statue of Liberty, he began to stalk Logan all the way to Canada where the two of them fought before just kind of like, eh, let's, just, let's go get a drink. While they were talking, it was revealed that Sabretooth, much like Logan, had no recollection of his past and he was only working with Magneto because he said that he would help Sabretooth recover some of those memories. Then, all of a sudden, Hydra attacks. Yeah, see this is me questioning whether or not this was ever 
considered canon. But it, it's got Hugh Jackman on the cover. Probably. I don't know. They both are kidnapped by Hydra agents and put on a plane to be taken to Weapon X and to have all sorts of experiments done on them. Near the end of the comic, Sabretooth sacrifices himself to save Logan. But... By throwing him off a plane. It worked. The, it's it's a, It was effective. But honestly, it was a nice ending to their relationship. Even though at that point in time, we hadn't seen what their relationship was because X-Men Origins hadn't come out yet. We still saw that there was some history between these two. And when Sabretooth was brought back to the Weapon X program, scientists started experimenting on him to see if they could finally get Adamantium to bond to a skeleton. But unfortunately, no. His body rejected it. Which sounds like an interesting parallel to another story. Actually, two stories, as X-Men Origins, again, was not released at this time, but when it was, they tackled this idea that Sabretooth could not survive the bonding process. We had a deal! We would never survive the operation. So, I mean, I guess that movie gets points for trying to follow its own continuity, maybe? Ah, forget it. Sabretooth was shot off screen, presumed dead. I mean, again, he did have a weaker healing factor and just went through the trauma of that whole adamantium experiment. And just, it's very plausible that he is actually dead now in this universe and has been since before the second movie even started. Unless you want to count the official X-Men game as canon, as that took place between the second and third movie. And then, oh, hey, here's, here's Sabretooth again. Oh boy. Either way, I would love to know your thoughts. What do you think happened to Sabretooth? Do you take this comic as canon? Do you think that he just kind of devolved into a feral creature and is living out in the in the wilderness somewhere? Do you think that he's just fine gambling somewhere? I would love to know all of your thoughts down in the comments below. This topic was actually suggested by one of our social media people, Lanisha, so I just wanted to give credit there for the idea. And as always, I want to give credit to all of our patrons who support us every single month over at patreon.com slash nerdsync. Normally, I put their names in the description but I just want to throw them up on screen right now. These guys are amazing. Thank you so much for supporting the videos that we do. We love you. You are truly wonderful nerds. And we will see you guys probably tomorrow, maybe, for a brand new video, if I can get it up on time. In the meantime, here's some other videos that you can watch that I'm sure you will love. Hit that big sexy subscribe button so you don't miss out on all of our new videos every week. My name is Scott, reminding you to read between the panels and grow smarter through comics. See ya.